So I want to start asking, uh, what was the most important thing uh, you got from the Sirens basketball team and playing all together and all the locker room conversations? What do you get out from that experience? Hmm, I think... Um... I think the biggest thing you you get from the sirens is kind of that fighting spirit. Um, I think we're, you know, we start off as a team who is not very strong. And I think we lose like basically every game. And so it's kind of like this huge story for us coming up once Coach Korn comes in about kind of taking that opportunity and kind of jumping at that chance to really be something. And I think that that's something that everyone can take from the show is like, you know, finding your moment and really just taking advantage of that and really trying to elevate the way we do all the way up to D2. And so it's, it's, um, I think that's definitely probably one of the biggest, the biggest like moments for us. I would use maybe even the word redemption somehow. Like I think we definitely, like Tiana said, are at the beginning, you almost probably feel bad for us because of how we're playing. But I think you just see, first off, how much if you put your mind to it, things can really start to shape shift. Um, I think it definitely helps, you know, the amazing coaches we have, you'll watch them help us get a little bit better and a little bit better. But I think you'll also see the love the girls have for the sport grow, at least for some of the girls. And I think that is also another driving force as to how we start to slowly get a little bit better. And yeah. I would have to say, taking risks and having passion for what you do because the everyone on the team is just so passionate about what they're doing especially once corn comes into the school and coaches them and i would have to say behind the camera we definitely we definitely found a love for basketball especially because we played with actual basketball players and they taught us so much and they, I feel like they made us stronger as people too. Hi guys, congrats on the series. Um, I'm curious to know, it's really nice to kind of have diversity represented on screen. Um, how important was it to kind of have that in this series? For me, it was super important because I don't, growing up, I didn't have a bunch of people that looked like me on camera. And I really, that was the main drive for me to become an actor um, at first, because I, I wanted girls who had the same background as me to feel empowered that they can do whatever they wanted to do in life. And it's really nice to have a team of girls who look completely different from each other represented in one TV show. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. And I think, you know, me and Tisha are kind of in the same boat. We we did kind of grow up where there was not a lot of diversity for us to really see ourselves on the screen. Um, and I think that what is so really great about the show, and especially just in our basketball team, is that we have so many diverse players on the team, whether it's, you know, in us five or just on the whole girls on the bench as well. And so... Um, I think what is important about the show is that I love that it includes that because that's real life. You know, that's we represent kind of, you know, what a real basketball team would look like. And so I think I felt super honored to be a part of it. And I, I loved that with my character, Destiny, I felt that I could really be myself and be, you know, I'm half black and half Vietnamese and I come from two really diverse cultures. And so I definitely tried to pull that when I play Destiny and I try to keep that in mind and so that I kind of honor those sides of my heritage. And I was just going to say, I agree with what the girls said. I just feel lucky to be surrounded by so many strong and amazing women. And I think it's really great that we do cover um, a lot of different bases. And I love, like Tiana said, that our whole entire team is just, it feels like a real team because that is, yes, like she said, very much so how it is in real life. And so I love that we represent that. This feels very authentic for a teen drama slash comedy. I was just wondering if each of you have a particular favorite teen drama or comedy, uh, either TV show or movie that you maybe look to for inspiration uh, when it came to this show. I'm going to say a touch. Okay, I'm a big Friday Night Lights girl. So like a little bit of that. But the private school girl, I kind of, I've been watching Gossip Girl leading into it. So I feel like, although it's very different show, getting that private school girl vibe kind of came from that a little bit, maybe. <laughs> um, well, I used to watch, I mean, just the, 
this this the funniest series of of Jamay, and he's like super it's super old, but just watching him and it was completely like a caricature of, of a schoolgirl. But I think that there's certain moments in there that were just so funny in terms of how the girls reacted that sometimes I would pull from that just in our like cafeteria scenes or in our locker room scenes. Um, just for those little funny moments in the show because they're like little gems and I just love it. Um, I would say I started rewatching Zoe 101 and although it's not a complete <laughs> private school, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not completely there, but the relationships with the characters, I kind of pulled from there. Not really, but kind of. Congratulations on the series. I imagine you've all had to play a fair bit of basketball here to, to prepare you for the roles. Uh, did any of you get really good? And also, did you play kind of in between takes? And if so, were there any memorable shots from anyone that got everyone up and cheering? Cricket got really good. Like, yeah. she got her own. <laughs> I was gonna say you guys no I think we've all come a long way we've all definitely improved um no it's so fun like I said we feel like a real team especially since we practice so much together so I think we're all just cheering each other on we are so excited when Tiana goes up for her reverse layups we're all like let's go because we can't all do that she was she was named MVP on our like joking little um superlatives we gave out so she definitely has some skill Monique Nell we honestly all um have come such a long way and Tisha technically got most improved by our fake superlatives as well so I don't know I think we all have come such a long way um and then I can answer the second part but I'll let the other girls talk for a minute yeah no I mean I'll agree honestly like thank you cricket by the way um but yeah there was definitely some moments in there where we all just had these like crazy like shots or just even like sequences during practice because we would practice like from like 8 a.m till 12 sometimes like 12 in the afternoon like four hours but we did that for months before actually filming and then while we were filming we would also practice some days like that you know in between scenes and so we definitely grew a lot i would say the whole team we we really honestly it felt like the girls of westbrook we went from being this kind of like okay, maybe a little scary team to really being real basketball players. And um, Keila Snowden, our, our coordinator, she's the one that gave us little medals at the end of the season. And yeah, I mean, Tisha got most improved. Um, and so I think we, we definitely are players now. And I think we also really enjoy the sport as well. I mean, I know just myself, like I just watched the, the final March Madness games and I found myself like screaming at the TV, like both the female and the male. And, and it's like, I never did that before the show. So I, basketball definitely has like a place in my heart now for sure. Yeah, I definitely have a really big appreciation for the sport now, especially because it's a bonding experience for me and my dad now because he loves the sport. And we all definitely improved throughout this whole process. If you saw us <laughs> during our audition, and where we are now, it's like night and day. And it's incredible what we accomplished and what Keila Snowden, our basketball coordinator, helped us with. I would also say that shot wise, we definitely had some unexpected shots go in. And sometimes, I would say sometimes we were supposed to make it and it wouldn't go in, but sometimes we were supposed to miss it and it would go in. And one thing I have to mention is Monique, um, who's not in this right now, but she would go up for, there was this one shot in the pilot specifically where they were like, okay, Monique, we just need you to miss it, please. Like just miss. And obviously we, we don't, they don't know how well we could play at that point. So they were thinking, oh, that'll be, we'll help her out. She needs to miss it anyway. This girl could not miss this. It wasn't like a layup either. It was like a little bit away. She could not miss this shot for probably eight takes in a row. Everyone was like booing when she'd make it. She's like, I'm not trying to. <laughs> Stuff like that's definitely always funny when that happens because she's a great player, but that's not, she wouldn't normally make eight shots in a row. It was probably just because some weird pressure where she knew she didn't need to make it. It was just hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey. 